Uh, let me turn off my fan real quick so that I don't fucking. Oh. Oh. You know, he started reading this off in the middle of math class. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It was to Mitch. It's a good story, man. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking it is, fire, it Joe. It is the best story that you have ever come up with. Joe, like, you should really, you should tell this to Brayden. I there don't is, think she would appreciate it. Okay, no, the epitome of literature is a fan fiction that is currently the longest writing ever, or like the longest piece of literature ever. The Smash Bros. one you told me about. Yes. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Let me keep going. Smash. The door fell as the ugliest creature known to man was standing there. The Logan. The girl was terrified as she was to death and she exploded. What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> Joe's just prideful about this. He's so yep. <laughs> the dad, the dad tried to shoot it, but the gun was out of ammo. The Logan touched his penis, and the dad became a humper Logan. And then it began. <laughs> oh my god. That's oh, amazing. This, it is, that is like the best opening to a book ever. Like you, know, sell, you should really you send that millions. to Mr. Rogers and see what he says. I should publish. I should go publish. <laughs> Fucking publish it to Mr. Rogers or Mr. No, Harris. New York <laughs> Times. Imagine Mr. Harris's reaction if you sent him that. I I think he would I think he would have to report me to administration. <laughs> a few yeah. kids were talking about a game. They were play they were play at recess. Yep. Their names were Joey, Jesse, Jeremiah, Alex, and Max. Oh my god. They were just talking a <laughs> Yeah, they were talking about a game called Logan Apocalypse. Logan Nick Apocalypse. <laughs> Why did you guys have such a bad thing with Logan? Because no. We, oh we yeah, had he a bad thing with him. We just kind of did that. <laughs> oh yeah, was, I remember when he humped Joe's head. They didn't know that their their T H E R E world was already more than halfway you cannot over. Judge over, Joe on his grammar when you cannot speak. <laughs> Halfway overcombed by Logan. <laughs> so you have to realize this story was written in sixth grade or fifth then, grade. Then something happened. They were suddenly knocked out. Years Eight years later. later. <laughs> <laughs> that time jump? That's a fucking hell of a time jump, dude. It, it's just like out of nowhere as well. It like establishes characters like boom. <laughs> Boom! Boom! You all passed out. <laughs> there were only n there there were only known survivors: Alex, Jesse, Joey F, Joey K, Max, Tori, and sadly John. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. John. Because you know, <laughs> I know John's not the brightest, but no, he really isn't. He's dating a child. I'm sorry to say. Who's he dating? Joe. No. <laughs> I am the child. No, he was supposed to say Joe who? Uh, Joe Mama. Up, Joe. I, I'm gonna help you, Corey. I'll be right back. Mia, where is she? She's inside the bed. She went in the drawer and stepped. This up. is your fault, and now I gotta fix the problem you caused. Mia, 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 come here. I swear to God, Kat, if I have to get under this bed and get you out from there, it's not going to be a fun time for you or me. So you better get out right now. That's yeah. It. I'm fucking killing this cat. Mia, come out. The shit. Mia, Mia, come here. <laughs> you can't hide from me, you little fluffy shit. <laughs> Should we read? Should we read this entire script? I, I want to be Mark the Plotter and just shout, "Was it the bite of eighty seven? No. <laughs> no, okay, we have. If wanna, so, if you want to be Mark Plotter, you got to be Mike, and you're yeah. Mark Plotter. Scene one, the bite. Or no, what was it? Scene the one. Bite. The <laughs> bite. Was that the bite of eighty seven? Good. Uh, that. Jeremy, that table only needs four chairs, not six. You fucking idiot. My friends over to Foxy. Please don't cause any trouble today.
I don't want to have to clean up the mess you made when you sang and you got nervous. I still sm <laughs> I still smell robot come on you. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mike. Do not mean to get me oil on you. My cool man, yeah. I was trying to hold it in. Why did you write this? I don't know. I don't want to. I'm trying to hold it in. <laughs> it was just a leak and was easy to fix. Erectile dysfunction is a hell of a drug. <laughs> you gotta read it. You gotta read the stage directions. No, that, 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 that is the stage. Could you go easy on Mike tonight? God damn it. Oh. Ah, right. I have my last blood, but <laughs> no, no blood at, at all, okay? <laughs> Fine. First off, shut up, Furfag. Second off, Hardy Har, are you serious? The simp has fallen in love with the eager. girl. <laughs> 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 hey, Jeremy, what's up? <laughs> uh, nothing. I mean, I, I, I have to help out with, with the party today. Let me guess, <laughs> you don't want to touch a four-year-old's b**** <laughs> I don't think yeah, anybody Yeah, how did you know? I read the owner's clipboard! Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Scene 4, Cake and Gifts, slash Bite of 87. Okay, kids, who's ready for a bite of cake and some presents? Yeah! <laughs> Hey, miss, can I walk out, Foxy? Sure, little boy. <laughs> wow! Look at all his sharp teeth. Hey, guys, look at me. <laughs> Daniel Sig gets chopped off by the model force by Foxy. <gasps> Was that the point of 87? <laughs> I love me some underage boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, Mike. I, I don't. I, I normally don't just clap boy cheeks like this. <laughs> Mike. What the hell happened yesterday? It was like a glorified game of Mama had a baby and her fucking head popped off. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to Papa John's. The day of reckoning has come, and I must repent. <laughs>